I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness. How to stay current and relevant. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Rewad here, back again for another uh, news post K Lab live stream video. So I can't be live, guys. Dad's sleeping, but I have to bring you guys this because usually I don't do these. I really don't care to do these, but there's so much hype right now coming to Bleach Brave Souls that people in the stream are asking me to do it, and I feel like kind of like I kind of want to do it. So. We're going to be talking about everything they talked about in the live stream today, like a full recap, and there's a lot of cool things coming, guys, like so much cool things coming to BBS, and it'll be live literally within like four hours, so I really want to get this out before the actual update finishes, so let's bust through it as fast as we can, as best as we can. So Inheritance Zone, I talked to you guys about it, I made a video about it, if you guys want to see it, it's on my channel, um, but we got some more details about it. So the first one that's coming out, which is going to be released right after the update finishes, is the speed one. So enemies are hollows and soul reapers. Use your killer abilities. Uh, enemies all have a rancor killer. So watch out um, bringing any type of espada slash a rancor as they are going to take extra damage. So since it's speed characters only man to who's blue. There's like a blue grim. Um, there's a blue yami. Uh, so be careful who you bring guys and pick carefully. Um, I'm probably going to take blue Ken with me just to bust through this as fast as I can. Um, and there are going to be a few traps on the ground. At first I thought traps isn't like it's a new thing they're implementing traps in the game. But what it is really is traps means those poison, fire, slow down type of areas that when you walk over you take damage or you slow down. So nothing too special. Um, so this is what it looks like when you complete a uh, inherent zone on extreme that's the difficulty so you gain around 5,000 XP which is unbelievable it's honestly good and look at look at my boy Matt two's head um, as you guys can see 5,000 XP took him around five minutes um, apparently it's really difficult you can see bodies laying around everywhere that's probably the enemies um, you get jewels you get droplets and you get the new potions as well as you get hearts and the rare items glow when you get them so just a little bit of aesthetics it's nothing like that's gonna change the game, just aesthetics, and it looks it looks amazing. I think it looks beautiful personally. I love the aesthetic part of it, and it just looks so cool. And the hearts are really really nice touch. The rainbow one is a lot rarer from what they were saying to drop, which is understandable. I guess in the higher levels um, of the link upgrades, you're gonna need rainbow. Uh, I guess the first few levels you don't need. You just need the red ones um, for that character specifically, like for blue characters. But then, or red characters, I must say. But then, after when you progress, the rainbow ones matter from probably like level five to ten in a sense. So, let's get there's a fly on my screen. Die, die, die. Okay. So next we got this like blew my mind. Okay. So, so my boy Matt too said that in in the map there's a zone that you can walk to. It's a special area. So it's somewhere. I guess it splits paths. Um, he says he didn't run, in, run into it too often, but it splits past. This is the special surprise they said was waiting for us. Um, so once you kill these enemies, they guarantee to drop the item above their head. As you guys can see from here, that's five, that's six uh, brown uh, crates. And those are accessory crates. So I believe those are three star hearts. So six three star hearts in one shot is unreal. Imagine getting that every five runs six three star hearts you can have like a hundred within the first day of playing which is insane um it's honestly unbelievable it looks so cool i can't wait to see it in game Sorry about the little lag there i was rendering a video but i had to cancel it just because i want to get this one done first but like i was saying within like a few days you could have a hundred or more three star hearts which is going to be fantastic um also, it's a guaranteed drop. Um, so when it comes out tomorrow and I wake up in the morning, I'll definitely try to make some videos on it to show you guys the Inheritance Zone. I mean, a lot of you guys are going to be able to play it as it's going to come out for global as well. But um, I want to show it to you guys, and I might stream tomorrow because I do definitely want to grind this uh, with you guys. So if you guys want to see a stream tomorrow, uh, leave a thumbs up on this video, and I'll definitely hit you guys with a stream tomorrow. So next... Um, we got the countdown login bonus. So as you guys do know, we're coming close to the two year anniversary of Bleach Brave Souls and K-Lab is uh, giving us some rewards. So from uh, June 23rd to July 22nd, there's gonna be five spirit orbs when you log in every day. So a total of 150 spirit orbs, which is nice. Almost enough for a multi. Uh, get different items based on the week. So every week they're gonna hand out different items, which is very cool. And log in every day for 30 days to get 150 spirit orbs and a ton of other items. So what they were saying in this, which is why it's so interesting to me, is that some weeks they're gonna have special events, guys. So between June 23rd and July 22nd, every week is gonna be a special event. So they said that one week, 
They're going to triple the Hogyoku drops from Crystal runs and Jewel runs, which is crazy. Tripling the Hogyoku drop percentage, which I, I don't know what it is. I think it's 1%, might be 3%. I don't know, but tripling is sounds fantastic to me. Um, one week they said that they're going to triple the drop rates for powders and jewels. I mean, powders and books in co-op, guys. Triple the drop rate for powders and books in co-op. What? What? So be on the lookout. Every week's going to be different. I'm sure they'll announce it on the news store, like on the, the what's new when you log in. So make sure to keep an eye out for that, guys. Also, I'll definitely make videos on it when the new events come out. But definitely keep an eye on your news. So next, we have they talk about the new inherit stat function. This is what the screen looks like. You guys know the gist of it. You can level it up. I think they showed more images, but you guys know the gist. I already did a full explanation video on the the uh, inherit stats with the potions and everything. So go watch that if you want to learn more. Next, this one is amazing. This one is amazing. So Caleb, listen to us. You can't even say that Caleb doesn't listen to their fans because they do, guys. So drop rates are increasing. Raid quests, drop more jewels and accessories, get more coins and XP. There will be no change to the drop rate for raid characters. Okay, fair enough, but more jewels and more accessories, I'll definitely take that. Get more coins and XP, I'll definitely take that. Unfortunately, there's no drop to drop raids uh, to raid characters. That kind of sucks, but in a sense, we're getting more of everything else, so I guess you can't complain. Con Bonanza will have four-star cone drops from now on and more XP, which is fantastic. So on top of um, just XP crystals, you're going to get a four-star drop potentially. Uh, crystals and daily quests give more coins and XPs. Jewel daily quests will have the same rates as crystal quests that drop Hogyoku. So as you guys do know, uh, jewel, jewel, jewel daily quests have a lower chance than crystal because uh, originally it came out for the crystal rates only and eventually they implemented it into jewel rates. But jewel rates are definitely a lot lower so now they're making it even, giving you more coins and XP similar to crystal. And last but not least, the best one that I've ever heard all day, fusion trials get more coins no more accessories, so no more one-star shitty accessories from Fusion Trials. Only power heart drops. So instead of a one-star item, you're going to get a one-star heart. A one-star heart is equivalent to like 10 or 20 one-star items, so it's fantastic. Increase evolution powder drop rates. Books are going to say the same, um, but damn, I need powders. I don't really need books as much, so I am super high for this. So thank you, Mark and Matthew. Shout out to K-Lab. You guys are killing it. You guys are killing it. Um, so next, this is this is so cool, guys. I saw a picture of this in the JP live stream, but I wasn't too sure what it was. And there's my boy Matt too again. Train to be the very best. Pokemon reference, I like it. Planned for July 14th to July 23rd. Okay, so this is called the intensive course. Get characters for unlocking six star skill souls. Uh, six star character skill souls. So what this is is a new type of event is going to come out where. For specific characters every week, I assume, or maybe every day, once a day, they'll have these characters because I, I assume it's only for that week. But say, for example, we'll take Grim Jow. Grim Jow to level up needs Grims and Nellyels to max out. So those are two separate raids. Sometimes they're a little harder. Um, some people can't beat them to max out. So what they did was they combined them into one raid and made it easier, guys. I will show you in the next picture. So as you guys can see, um, of course, this isn't going to be, they're not, you're not going to beat it in the same time. I guess this was just like a test because it's still in beta. But as you guys can see, when you beat it, it's called limited. So this one's for Neutra, I guess. Sorry, I, I talked about Grim. This is for Neutra. Neutra, Arm to Kill You version. Um, he beat it. He got a 5-star Grim Jow drop and a 5-star Nail drop, which are the raid characters that he needs. So Dung Guy, for example, will have like the Aizens, the Ichigos, and what else? And Rukia. The Full Brain will have like 5 drops because Full Brain needs so much. So it's just to help you guys complete the new characters for some of you new players, um, which is going to be fantastic for you guys. And it's for us, we get an extra 5 orbs for playing it uh, and beating it, and we get fodder. So it's a win-win for both ends, guys. This is fantastic. And I think that was it. Um... This is, what, this is what I was telling you guys. Each week, different we plan uh, different resources for powering up characters or accessories that will be easier to acquire. Use this chance to stock up on rare and valuable items such as Hogyoku and books. So from between those dates, you guys are going to see a triple increase for one week in Hogyokus, a triple increase for one week in books and powders. Not books, sorry. Powders. It even says Book of Secrets, so who knows? I guess maybe Book of Secrets does apply as well. So it's going to be cool. I'm excited. I can't wait for it to come out. And uh, yeah, that is the update, guys. That is update 5.0, I believe. Um, if you guys are hyped, or uh, 5 point something, if you guys are hyped, 
definitely leave a like down below. Definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about all these updates. Caleb is killing the game right now. Mark and Matt too. You guys are the homies. I appreciate all that you guys do for us. And yeah, guys, it's been your boy Rewad. Updates coming out in a few hours. And uh, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll definitely make a video checking it out, guys. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Okay.